Hello, journal goddesses. Here it is for our weekly oracle reading. And I apologize that I have not gotten these videos up as quickly as I had hoped. <sighs> you know, sometimes life just happens. And so that's all I'm going to say about that. So let's get connected. Today it's going to be a little bit longer video because I really want you to have the experience of tuning into the oracle. So let's get started. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath and just settle in. I'm so grateful that you are here with me today. And just allow your body to just be for just a couple of seconds here just giving your body gratitude for all of the ways that it carried you so that you could sit down and watch this video and then check on on all the realms how are you physically how are you emotionally how are you mentally how are you energetically? How's your spirit doing today? And this noticing is not to try and force it to be anything other than what it is. It's so important that we just take the time to notice where we are because we have no idea where we are. We have no ability to get to where we want to. So just act like this is a pin in your road mark of the day. And if you notice anything swirling and twirling inside of you that feels like it's super urgent and it needs to be taken care of now, 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 give yourself permission to just be and pack those have tos, should haves, could haves, would haves up into a suitcase and set it outside of our space, giving yourself permission to unpack it or not after our time together. So let's connect in with air and see what air wants us to know to move forward. What do we need to know to move into this last quarter of the year to make it a strong finish to a great year? So I'm playing with my air cards and I've already pulled this out. Now remember I told you air is the mental realm. So it's about having this, the intention and having it clearly held in your mind, okay? So, what does air want us to know? Perspective. Hmm, so this is a beautiful card because it invites you to take a different view take a different perspective is the perspective that you're looking at your creations from the best way for you to for you to hold it in your mind so that it can come to fruition or do you need to take a step back do you need to get in closer to look at it do you need to look at it from a totally different angle like do you need to get a, sit on your head and you know, sit on your head do you need to do like a, a yoga headstand or put your feet up in the air and just get laid down get quiet to have just be in a different position put yourself in a different position or different um different place so that you can have a different look at what it is you're trying to create. So I'll give you a minute here to journal with that. I'm going to take some notes for myself. All right. And thank you, Air. So I told you we we're gonna move real quick. So I'm gonna definitely move directly into fire. So fire again is that action realm. It's the realm of movement. You know, if you look long enough at a fire, you notice that the flames, they never stop moving. It's a constant continual thing. So this is like the energy that that helps you, it helps to propel you forward and helps to Warm, wa warm water, warm your emotions so around your creation so that way you can get things moving. I know for myself, when the days are super cold, it takes a while for me to get 
out of that warm, comfy bed that I've been in all night. So what energy do you need? What energy do we need to move us forward in this last quarter of the year to make our finish super duper strong? Mm. Shaman's way. So the thing that you want to remember about the shaman's way is that they have been trained with the abilities to see and see things from non-ordinary positions, non-ordinary perspectives. So when I pull the shaman's way card, I also think about cosplaying, <laughs> okay? What it is what is it about that character that I love that draws me in. What are the qualities of that character that I admire? What are the qualities of the character that I don't admire? It's a kind of a situation of you spot it, you got it. So if I feel like I need an extra push to get me to put to move forward with my goals and dreams, sometimes I'll put on my Cruella de Vil wig and I'll get things done. Or I'll put on my Maleficent horns and I get things done. That's one of the things that I really love about villainesses is that they have a plan, they focus their energy on that plan, right or wrong, not necessarily um the right thing that they need to focus on, but you know a villainess has clear motives. She feels slighted, she wants this, and she goes after it with dogged determination. And so sometimes I feel like I need to have that dogged determination, so I'll put on some horns and get some stuff done. So, <laughs> pulling that back to shamanism, this is why they sometimes would wear the masks of different animals so that they would be infused, imbued with the power of that animal, with the wisdom of that animal, with the strength. So that's why I can see cosplay as a tool of a shaman. And so bringing that back to our journaling today, what non-ordinary ways do you need to look at things, do you need to use in order to get your goals pushed forward? And I'm gonna take some note, more notes for myself also about that cosplay piece. And again, you can always pause this video if you need extra time to write with this. Beautiful. Okay, so now, final cards. <clears throat> now we're in the spirit realm. The spirit realm is the realm of the gods. It is also the realm of our essence expression. The spark, the divine spark that makes you who you are. There's not another person like you in this whole entire world. You have people who share similar interests as you and might do things very similar to you, but nobody does it quite like you, okay? So, tuning into spirit, what, do your, what does your spirit need? to move you forward and help you to have a strong finish in this last quarter. And the card that came up was compassion. So when we talk about compassion, we often are talking about having compassion for others. But because this, because the cards were, because I am talking about how you and I can have a strong finish to the year, in this last quarter, this is more about compassion for yourself. This is about having compassion for yourself as you're learning something because you know you get to be an adult and then you get into this place of because I'm fill in the blank a number of years, I should already know how to do this. And we get closed down around our thinking, but you know, myself personally, I've never maintained a YouTube channel. This is the first time I've ever done this. So 
being upset with myself because the results aren't necessarily what I'd look for. What I wanted is not very compassionate. Thinking that I should have done this or I should have done that's not very compassionate. Shooting yourself is not very compassionate. So definitely as I'm putting all of these other tools into place, I definitely want to have some additional compassion. Compassion for myself as a beginner, compassion for myself um, as I move forward, just compassion for myself so much so that it overflows and allows other people, or allows me to pour compassion out for other people as well and gives people permission to have compassion for themselves because they see how compassionate I am towards myself. It's always an internal job for me. So spend, a, spend just a minute here. What do you need, what compassionate, what, compa what do you need to bring more compassion to that you're learning? Is it something that you're learning? Is it something that you're doing? Where do you need to apply more compassion to yourself? Whew, and I just thought of another place where I need to have more compassion for myself. All right, beauties, that is going to complete this series of videos. Now I'm going to start changing things up a little bit. As you can tell, I've been a little bit sporadic with the videos lately after I had been very consistent for a while. And that's because I went to an Oracle certification, kind of a re a, a continuing education th um, program. And I am super excited to be implementing some new ways of being of doing these oracle readings on this video to help you get a better sense and also bring in some of the other um, oracle cards. Although I am certified and a, a natural rhythms, elemental forces of creation oracle practitioner, I've told you multiple times, I love using these oracles with the other oracles that I have as well as with tarot cards. So I'm going to be bringing some more of that in. I do hope you'll stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps me, helps the YouTube to say, oh, this person liked this. Maybe somebody who has similar interest will like this. And you might want to share this with somebody who has um, similar interests so that they can find me. Whatever you choose to do, I am in deep gratitude to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and please tune into my Hobonichi with me videos as well. I'm going to be, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. I got my Hobonichis in, I ordered a a6 size, the smaller size, so that I could start keeping the my oracle readings in the in a Hobonichi because I love again, you know how much I love my Hobonichi, right? You've seen this, right? So I'm gonna be starting to use my Hobonichi and in my oracle practice. So um, I'm gonna be using it to write that in there. So do stay tuned because I'm gonna share a video on how I'm gonna set it up, and then occasionally I'm gonna give you a peek inside my my um, oracle journal in my Hobonichi. Take care. I'm sending you loads of love. See you soon. Bye-bye.